In this episode, we set sail from Rosse to Gagetown on the beautiful St. John River in New Brunswick. After an overnight stop on the beautiful Belle Isle, we stop at the historic Evandale Resort to resupply and get hit with a downpour as we make our way to Gagetown. A break in the weather gave us a chance to explore this artsy, unique village by foot. engine troubles? Yes, you heard that right. Two days before, we'd left our yacht club and shortly after our engine quit. We sailed to a nearby anchorage where my dad met us and he came aboard to help fix the problem. It turned out to be an airlock. The girls had fun exploring and paddleboarding while dad and Jay got the engine working. The historic St. John River is Atlantic Canada's longest river. At 673 kilometers long, it flows from northern Maine into Canada and runs south along the western side of New Brunswick. It empties into the Atlantic Ocean at Reversing Falls in St. John, New Brunswick, where twice a day, the water at the mouth of the St. John River is forced to flow backwards as the tides advance from the Bay of Fundy and push against it. The river is teeming with wildlife and cattle grazing on the lush riverbanks. Trip. And are you ready for the big trip, Crash? Yeah, he's totally ready. We got our coffees, and the girls are still fast asleep. Up in the beaver. Another unique quality of the St. John River is the number of cable ferries that cross the river. To request permission to cross the cable, boaters will need to call the operator on channel 16. Finnegan is the newest addition to our family. We adopted him in the spring and this was his first time on the boat. I'd say he likes it. The St. John River is also home to Atlantic Canada's only inland system of lighthouses. There were 21 lighthouses operating between St. John and Fredericton at one time. These leading lights guided riverboats from 1840 until 1908. Remnants of the steamer wharves are mostly used for swimming and fishing now. We finally made it to a section on the river called Long Reach where we could set our sails. It's known for a long stretch of steady winds on the beam.
day four. We spent the night at a beach we hadn't spent the night at before, which was kind of cool. We went to the bedroom on the Kingston Creek, but uh, the wind was blowing from the south, which is not common for this time of year, so it was a little bit too uh, windy for us. So we came out to the entrance, and there was a nice little beach there with shelter. So we stayed there for the night, and we're just leaving now. It's cold. It's probably 14 degrees. They're calling for rain today, and uh, winds are probably about, I feel like they're 15 knots, but um, yeah, it's 14 knots. So anyway, it's, we're heading with the wind up river. We're going to go to Evandale today to fill up our diesel and get some ice, and then we're going to see where we go from there. So it's probably going to be up the Washtomoak Lake. Or we might go to Lawson's Passage tonight. The further upriver you go, the more narrow the river gets. It is well marked, but the general rule of thumb is, if you stay in the middle, you should be okay. We use Navionics simply to look for the markers and to help us find our ways into the anchorages. The river is tidal, and depending on the time of year, you could have a heavier tide with or against you. After a big rain event, the river floods, and large logs and trees can be seen gliding along, taking moorings out. As you approach Evandale, there's one last cable ferry to cross. Evandale is one of the busiest places on the river, and it can get quite congested on the summer months. The beautiful Evandale Resort was built in 1889, and it's one of the last riverboat hotels along the St. John River. The full-service marina also has a gorgeous in-ground pool and a licensed restaurant and patio that overlooks the river. It's our daughter's favorite place to stop in the summer. After showers and a quick walk, we were back on board for some tomato soup and grilled cheese sandwiches before heading off to our next location. I'm just getting ready to go on shift. Jay's been at the wheel for two hours. It looks cold and miserable. I'm just making a cup of tea warm. It's July and it's 12 degrees, so it's cold. But, we have two more hours to go. We were all excited to reach Gagetown and decided to take a walk around the village. Hello, miss. Hello. Where are we? There's a few little shops. What do you like about Gagetown? Uh, the rain stopped. That's what I like. <laughs> it's so much better when it's not raining. Gagetown. It was, the Gagetown just the, to do it was it. raining and pouring. It was disgusting. What do you like about Gagetown? I like that tiny post office. That is a sweet little post office. <laughs> and what do you like about Gagetown? I like to pee everywhere. 
The beautiful old houses that line the streets in the village move you back in time to days when the steamers still came up the river. I'll go for the coffee. Gagetown Marina is a full-service marina with power, water, gas, and diesel, and showers, and over 875 feet of dock space. Thanks for joining us for this part of the trip. Join us next time as we make our way to the Washmoak Lake. We play some games to entertain the kids. and we go explore the little island in Big Cove.